Welcome back to the Vegan Test Kitchen, everyone. Today, I'm bringing you a very special recipe because it's my very own. I'm bringing you my chili. It's delicious, it's meaty, and it's full of veggies. I think you're gonna like it. So, as always, all the ingredients that you need are listed below. Let's get started. Since we're making a veggie chili, we're gonna be chopping up a lot of veggies. So grab a green bell pepper, large white onion, two carrots, two stalks of celery, and four garlic cloves. Now we're just gonna dice up our green bell pepper. And we're gonna do the same thing with our celery. And we're gonna dice our onion. and mince our garlic. And finally, our two carrots. Now you can do this one of two ways. I used to shred these just on a regular shredder and the texture was a bit soft in the chili, which is fine. But if you want something a little bit more crunchy or just to add a little bit more texture to your chili, you can julienne them, which is what I recently started doing. So that's what we're gonna do today. And if you have one of these mandolins, it makes it super easy. All right, now we finally get to cook. We're gonna put a big pot on a medium high heat. We're gonna throw in a tablespoon of olive oil or canola oil, vegetable oil, whatever you have. And in goes our onion. Now we're gonna saute this until it softens about five to six minutes. And now's a good time to add our garlic, our bell pepper, and our celery. And we're gonna saute this for another three to four minutes. But in the meantime, once it starts heating up, we're gonna put in a tablespoon of tomato paste, make a little hot spot. We're gonna impart some of those umami rich flavors into the chili. We're just gonna cook this for about a minute or so. And we're gonna do the same thing with our chili powder. And then we're gonna incorporate everything. And once we do that, we're gonna add in our pound of whatever meatless crumbles that you have. This is gonna be a pretty meaty and veggie filled chili. So it's gonna be very filling. And now's a good time to add your chili packet. Yes, I use a chili packet because I figure why reinvent the wheel? Add a little bit of chili powder before to give a little bump, but these packets are great. And if it happens to get a little dry after you add the packet, then just add some of the water that we're gonna be incorporating later on. And once we're good and cooked through, we can start adding pretty much everything else. We're gonna put in our water. I like my chili a little bit, slightly more on the soupy side as opposed to that really thick chili. So I say anywhere from one and a half to two cups of water will be fine, but adjust accordingly. We're gonna add a 15 ounce can of tomato sauce a 28 ounce can of diced tomatoes with the juice, and all of our beans. Dark red kidney, pinto, and Bush's Chili Magic Chili Starter. And finally, we're gonna add our carrots. and our salt, and a bit of cayenne if you want a little bit more spice. And I'm gonna add a bit of black pepper as well. All right, now we're gonna cover this and bring to a boil. And then we're gonna lower it to a simmer, and cook for at least a half an hour. Really, the longer the better. And of course, you wanna stir periodically. and you don't want to forget your toppings. Guarantee you this will please vegans and non-vegans alike. All right, y'all, I hope you liked what you saw today. If you did, hit a thumbs up. I would love you for it. 
Make sure to subscribe and share and comment and all that good stuff. I'll see y'all next time. After we give everything a good rinse and uh, a peeling of the uh, carrots, uh, what the f am I trying to say? Jesus Christ. Our salt to taste. I like to start out with about a tablespoon. No, that's way too much.